in lockdown. Don't venture away from your radio. Don't go outside. Don't get infected. Welcome to Quarantine. Quarantine Radio Theater brings you new productions of old-time radio as well as new productions of original material. So, dim the lights, sit back, and close your eyes. We are in quarantine. Welcome to Quarantine Radio Theater. I'm Brant McCants, the director of tonight's episode. If you are a returning listener, welcome back. We here at Quarantine Radio Theater are excited to have you back with us. If you are new to Quarantine Radio Theater, welcome. Please feel free to visit our Facebook page, leave a like and a comment. Also, check out what we have going on and listen to past episodes on your favorite podcast provider as well as on YouTube. Tonight's show is called Little Old Lady. (laughs) Sounds rather quaint, doesn't it? It was originally broadcast in 1937 for the Lights Out program. As was the normal opening for the program... Lights Out, everybody. Sit back and relax as two college roommates travel to visit one of the girls' estranged aunt. Lona and Alice are about to find out that there is more strange than estranged to the little old lady. Huh? Do you think we're still in the United States? I'm beginning to doubt it. Are you sure you got the address right? Of course. Well, don't be so dogmatic. You have made mistakes. Sounds as if you're starting to get annoyed. Well, I am. We've been driving so long, my back feels as if somebody were doing a big apple on it. Oh, we'll be there soon enough. You know, Alice, sometimes that good nature of yours makes me good and tired. You sound as if you want to quarrel. I'm sorry. It's just that, well, I look forward to this vacation for weeks, and now that it's happening, well, it isn't so much fun. Oh, wait till you get to my Aunt Harriet's. You can curl up in the alfalfa and sleep for days. Sleep. Ah, that's a lovely word. Just imagine sleeping as long as you want without having to worry about making an eight o'clock class or getting up early enough to write the theme paper you should have written the night before if you hadn't been out on a date. I'll tell you, it'll be wonderful. Perfect. But are you sure you know where your Aunt Harriet lives? I've run out of synonyms for of course I do. I just like to reassure myself. I certainly hope she has soft beds. I'm sure she has. What makes you so sure? You told me yourself you hadn't seen her for ten years. Beds can get awful lumps in that time. Idiot. No. Say that again? No, I didn't send the letter. You you mean to say that she doesn't even know that we're coming to stay with her? Well, I decided that it would be more fun if we sort of surprised her. Well, of all the brainstorms, walking in on somebody you haven't seen for ten years and expecting her to welcome you. She's my only aunt, isn't she? But maybe she won't have room for us. 
Don't be silly. I told you, Aunt Harriet lives alone and likes it. Well, maybe she won't like it if we barge in on her. Don't be silly. Of course we'll be welcome. From what I've heard, she's a little old darling. When you were eight, she was a darling. For all you know, she's taken that welcome mat in years ago. Wait a minute. Didn't you say we were supposed to go down Camden Road three miles? Yes. Then you are lost. That sign back there. This isn't Camden Road. <laughs> You're silly. I saw it with my own eyes. It says Pig Snackle Road. <laughs> I tell you, it's true. There ain't no such place, gal. Wait, there's another sign up ahead. Slow down. All right. See that? Pig Snackle Road. You are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Pig Snackle Road, that's too good to be true. Are you crazy? Laughing at a name of a place when you haven't got any idea where you are? And my back's breaking, and if I don't get some rest and something to eat pretty soon, I'm gonna have to- All right, all right, save the speeches. We'll ask that old man there by the side of the road. Huh? Oh, he doesn't look as if he knows where he is himself. Uh, I beg your pardon? Me, yes, could you tell me where we are? Why, why, this here Pig Snackle Road, anybody knows that. <laughs> yeah, we know it too. What we mean is, could you tell us if we're near the house of Mrs. Uh, what's her name, Alice? Miss Harriet Sagus. Yes, that's it. Could you tell us where Miss Harriet Sagus lives? Uh, who'd you say? Miss Harriet Sagus. Capital S-A-U-G-U-S. Do you happen to know where she lives? Uh, you mean, I, I, I don't know nothing about nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, how do you like those apples? Of all the discourteous people. Turned and dashed into the woods like a jackrabbit with a game leg. I, I don't understand why he should act so strangely. Nothing strange about it. We're so badly lost that we're back in the country where men are men and don't know nothing about nothing. <laughs> we might as well go on. Yeah, you mean turn right around and go back to school again. Don't be silly. I'm sure that we'll find... Oh, oh, uh, there, there it is. There's what? The edge of the world? No, the crossroad. The entrance to Aunt Harriet's place ought to be just a little beyond. That's what you say. Yes, there it is. We turn here. Hey, wait a minute. What are you trying to do? Turn over? It won't be long now. You're telling me this is no road. It's a cow path. Oh, Aunt Harriet likes privacy. I remember Dad and Mother used to say that. Oh, oh, that bump didn't do my spine any good. Slow down, will you? Take it easy. Oh, all right, but you're the one who wanted to, me to go faster so that you'd get to a bed. Another hundred feet on this road and I won't need a bed. I'll need a stretcher. Come on, slow down before- I knew it! What a road! Even the tires couldn't take it. What do we care? Aunt Harriet's place is just a little ways down. We'll walk. You mean leave the car right here in the middle of the road? It's Aunt Harriet's own private road. No one will bother it. Come on, take your bag and let's get out of here. All right. I'm just a stooge. Come on, let's go. We'll be just in time for dinner. That's what you think. What do you mean? I mean, maybe your Aunt Harriet doesn't like guests who walk in just like that. Don't be silly. Come on, hurry. Listen, if that sliver of yours couldn't make time down this road, you certainly don't expect me to. Carrying suitcases. What a vacation. Hey, Alice, now what are you stopping for? I... I just noticed. Noticed what? How... 
How dark it's getting. So what? Come on, when the sun starts setting, it gets dark. I learned that in Physical Science 101. But... But back there on the road, it was so light, and here it's so... so dark and gloomy. What's the matter with you? Are you going to take your suitcase and come on, or or are you going to stand there being afraid of the dark? I'm all right. So many trees around here. No wonder it's dark. If that Aunt Harriet of yours wants privacy, she sure got it. And I hope when we get there, I'll have the same privacy for about 24 hours while I sleep in a nice old feather bed until I- Nona! Now what? Look at the mist. Coming up through the trees. Yeah. Like long white curling fingers. Cut that out, will ya? It, it, it's just that it, it's getting late. Colder. Moisture's condensing. No, oh, will we ever get there? Riding. Walking. Have you actually got an Aunt Harriet? Come on, let's go back to the car. Let's let's go back to the main road. Let's do something. I'm sick and tired of wandering and walking. Wait, Lona! Th- there it is! Huh? That house! That must be Aunt Harriet's house. Hallelujah! It is a house. Well, it's about time. It's about time. Knock harder, Alice. Knock harder. I can't. It hurts my knuckles. Oh, let me. She she must be home. Uh, there's a light upstairs. And you were going to surprise her, eh? But she never leaves this place. Go on. You don't even know that she lives here. A fine business. Car with a flat, stuck in the middle of nowhere. Nobody home in this godforsaken place. And me so tired I could sleep standing on my head. But she must be home. You're repeating yourself. Oh, if this is a vacation, then I may... Wait, there's someone at the door. Yes? Yes? What do you want? I'm... I'm looking for... I mean... Are you Miss Saugus? Yes, yes. What do you want? Then you are Aunt Harriet. Hallelujah again. Who's calling me Aunt Harriet? Who, I say? Who are you? Why, I... I'm Alice. Alice Preston. Yes, yes, bless my soul. I know you. Come in, come in. Hallelujah, we are here. Come in, come in. Close the door. Oh, Aunt Harriet, you don't know how glad I am to see you. Did we have a time getting here? Yes, yes. Come right in here, right in here. There, Lona. I told you we'd be welcome. She didn't even ask who I was. Now, put your things down here and sit down and make yourself comfortable. Aunt Harriet, this is my girlfriend, Lona Stevens. We roomed together at the university, and I asked her to come along with me because I thought... It's all right, my child, it's all right. Anyone's welcome, anyone at all. That's very kind of you, uh, Aunt Harriet. I hope you won't mind me calling you that, but Alice always calls you Aunt Harriet, and I thought that- There, my child, it's all right. A name's a name. Now sit here and be comfortable. I'll get some tea. Yes, yes. Nice tea. But Aunt Harriet- Well, apparently your Aunt Harriet does what she wants to do. Doesn't she? Oh, well. As long as we're here. She didn't ask me about anything- Huh? I... I mean, she didn't ask me about anyone. I mean, that's... that's sort of funny, isn't it? After not having seen any of your relatives for ten years? 
not even to ask about them? Give her time. Give her time. Chances are you'll get all the bag fest you want over the teacups. Yes, I suppose. Like something out of a museum, isn't it? Uh, what? The house. The furnishings. <laughs> Look at the chairs and that sofa. Are they prehistoric or are they prehistoric? I... I didn't think she was so old. Old? Oh, you mean your aunt? Yes. Oh, well, after all, <laughs> ten years living alone out in this godforsaken place. But I sort of think she's nice. Do you? Taking us right in and not asking us all sorts of silly questions. That's the kind of relative to have. You know, if I were to go barging in on any of mine, first they'd give me a third degree on how come I was away from school, and then they'd give me another third degree on how long I was going to stay, and then they'd- Lona, what's the matter? Back there in the shadows, what? I don't- Something moving. My- It's a dog! Oh? Why, no. It... It's a cat. Cat? But it, it can't be. Big as a police dog. We... We're not seeing things. It's so dark there. I can't quite make out... It is a cat. Not a cat. Tiger. Lona, what do we do? Don't move. If we do, it'll... Now here's your tea, young ladies. Nice, warm tea. Just what you need. Aunt Harriet. What's the matter? What? Oh, he's frightened you. What? What is it? You've got eyes, haven't you? Yes, but... It's so dark in that corner, we can't hardly tell. It, it, it's, a, it's not a tiger, is it? Don't talk nonsense. Well, what is it? He shouldn't be here at all. It's much too early for him. Aunt Harriet, don't you hear me? I asked you what it is. What do you think he is? It, it can't be a cat. Why, he's as big as a police dog. All right, all right, come upstairs. I'll show you to your room. There can't be a cat that size. This way, this way, I'll show you to your room. But Aunt Harriet... Come along, I say, up these stairs. Come on, Alice. But why does she... Come on, we better do as she says. What you need, sleep. But Aunt Harriet, how could it be a cat? We'll talk no more about it. We'll talk no more about it now. Tomorrow. Yes, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. <coughs> In here, my dears. In here. Come on, Alice. But why doesn't she answer me? There, you see? A very comfortable room for you to rest in. Nice wide bed. Everything clean. You'll get a nice rest here. Yes, you will. Fine rest. But Aunt Harriet, wait, I want to find... Oh, forget it, Alice. Whatever it is, you can find out in the morning. But that cat... Oh, cat. Cat. Can, can't you say anything but cat? It was so huge. Huge nothing. What? We, we just imagined it. That's all. I mean, th there in the shadows, it looked monstrous. You heard it. it. It sounded just like an ordinary tomcat. But I saw. You didn't see any more than I saw. And I think it was just a, a long shadow that got us fooled. That's all. Yes, that could be, couldn't it? Of course. You remember in Psych 101 class... Old Pudgy Wudgy told us about the tricks your eyes can play in bad light when it comes to judging size. I remember. Local signs, they called it. Right. 
Well, that's the way it was with that cat. <laughs> I'll bet your Aunt Harriet thinks we're screwy. That's why she got us up here to bed in a hurry. <sighs> bed. Isn't that a wonderful word? And will we sleep? I, I hope so. I hope so. L Lona? Huh? You're not sleeping either, are you? Nope. I... I wanted to talk to you for hours, but I wasn't sure. I thought you were asleep. Somehow I... I, I can't. Me neither. I, I can't understand why. I'm the one who was crying how tired I was. Bed's so comfortable. House is quiet enough. The house. Huh? Maybe that's why we can't sleep. What do you mean? There's... There's something about the house. What? Something... Oppressive that won't let us sleep. You're crazy. No, I'm not. It's just that... That we're too tired to sleep, that's all. Yes. Yes, that's it. Too tired. Nerves on edge. I've been lying here for hours trying to figure it out. Now I know. Will you stop talking like that? Don't you feel it, Lona? Don't you? Well, I... Tell the truth. You do feel it. It's... It's something heavy in the air. Pressing down on us. I'm awfully frightened, Lona. Awfully. Well, you're not going to frighten me. Wait... Why, this is your own Aunt Harriet's house. She's down there, sleeping, and she... Ah! That... That cat. Yeah. It... It sounds huge, doesn't it? It's because it's so quiet in the house. Lona, there's another one. Shh. I tell you, there's two of them. Lona, listen to them. They're not ordinary cats. Listen to them. They... They can't be cats. I'll call Aunt Harriet. She'll tell me. She'll make them stop. Alice, wait. Don't go out there, you little fool. Aunt Harriet... I have got to. Get away from that door. Listen to those things down there. Listen to them. No, no. I can't stand any more of it. And Harriet. And Harriet, make them stop. And Harriet. They've... They've gone. What? What were they? Could two cats make all that noise? And Harriet. Why don't you come in here? No. No, Alice. Don't open that door. But, but Aunt Harriet, why doesn't she answer me? She must know what it's all about. Why doesn't she... Wait. What? Listen. Someone's coming up the stairs. Yes. My, my Aunt Harriet? It, it's not quite like footsteps. <gasps> the cat. Maybe. The, the door... Cats can't open doors. It's, it's right outside the door. I can hear it, can't I? Is it a, a cat? Of course it is. You, you don't think so either, do you? It, it's just sitting there. Yes. Let it sit there. I'm... I'm so afraid. When morning comes, we'll get out of here. Aunt Harriet! Aunt Harriet, why don't you answer me? Oh, stop that. There's... There's something outside the door, Aunt Harriet. We... We don't know what it is. What's the use of calling her? She won't answer you. Why do you say that? 
because she hasn't answered us and she won't. But she's in the house, she must know. Wait. <gasps> Trying to get in. As, as long as the door's shut. We, we're safe enough. Aunt Harriet, please wake up. Aunt Harriet. <gasps> no. What? Look. The doorknob. It's turning. <gasps> Alice, listen. Cats can't open doors. You mean... You mean Aunt Harriet. Yes, it must be Aunt Harriet. She's ill and she's trying to open the door. I'll open it for her. No, no, Lona. Stay away from that door. I'm afraid. Don't. Come right in, Aunt Harriet. Help. I've got my arm. I can't stand the pain. I've, I've got to. The wood's so thick. I, I'm lost. I'm lost. I've got to get help. Someone's got to help me. <laughs> I'll get help for you, Lona. I'll get help. It's getting brighter. Dawn, if I could only find a path, a, a road. <laughs> Bushing, bushes. I'm tearing my clothes. Why do you tear my clothes? I just want to get help for Lona. I'll get help for you, Lona. I will. I will. Trees tearing at me. <laughs> I can't find my way out. I've, I've got to go. I've got to help her. Someone. Oh, a road. Oh, Lona. Now I, I'll find help for you. I will. An automobile. Help! Stop! You've got to stop. Help me! Help! Help me! Lona, the, the terrible cat, help me! What is it, sister? What's the matter? Who are you? There's now take it easy. Cat. Take it easy. Yes, the, yes, I'll help the, you. I'm the sheriff of this county. Hurry. You must help me. Hurry. Now wait a minute. Are you the girls who left that car on the side of the road back in the woods? Car. Car, yes. Yes, we left our car there. Oh, oh, hurry. Help me. My friend Lona. It's killing her. Joe, these are the girls. Yeah? Joe there found your car in the woods. We've been looking for you for hours. Please. Please don't stand there talking. Hurry. We've got to go help her. All right now, sister. You're hysterical. Sure we'll help. We'll find your friend. Sure we will. Now tell me. No, no. Listen to me. It's killing her. Killing her. Oh, why do you stand there? Killing her? Joe, do you hear what she says? Hurry. Hurry. I beg you, hurry. All right now, take it easy, sister. This is the house, ain't it? Yes, yes, this is the place. The old Saugus house. Yeah, try the door, Joe. 
It's open, Sheriff. Let's go. Upstairs. She's upstairs. Nobody down here, Sheriff. All right, let's get up there. I don't know what this is all about, but I'm gonna find out. Lona, we're coming for you. We're coming. Hey, what room is it, Sheriff? That room. That room right there. Hurry, it's killing her. Get your gun out, Joe. The door's partly open. Okay, kick it open. Watch yourself. Careful, Joe. Sheriff. Sister, you stay here. Lona. Sheriff, there's nobody in this room. Huh? Look for yourself. Now what the... Lona? Lona, where are you? Hey, now wait a minute, sister. Are you sure that... Yes. Yes, she was right here. It, it came in the door. Jumped at her. I turned. I, I ran. I, I jumped out the window. Hey, this window ain't broke. But I tell you, I went through it. Uh, see? My arm. Yeah, but... But there's no one here. Yeah, the bed ain't even messed up. Did you say you two were sleeping, sister? We were, we were. <laughs> Lona, Lona, where are you? What has it done with you? Wait, Aunt Harriet, she'll know. Or, or has it killed her too? Sheriff, come quick, come quick, bring the girl. Come along, sister. Joe, what is it? Look in there. Aunt Harriet! An old lady sitting in a rocker and knitting. Oh, Aunt Harriet! Lona, where is she? What happened? Oh, Aunt Harriet, please tell me. Yeah, tell us all. And might I ask what this is all about? Aunt Harriet! What's the matter? Didn't you hear anything? Lona, that horrible cat thing, what did it do to her? Answer me, what did it do? And would you officers tell me, who is this hysterical young girl? Aunt Harriet? Look here, don't you know who this girl is? I certainly do not. But, Aunt Harriet, I'm, I'm Alice. I came here with Lona. Don't you remember? You must be mistaken. I have been alone all night. You hear that, Joe? The girl's off, that's all. No, no, no! I was here. Lona and I did come here. It's a horrible joke. That's what it is. Aunt Harriet, please. Please tell them you're just joking. Lona, where is she? I don't know what you're talking about. I never saw you before in all my life. No, no, that's not true. Aunt Harriet, Aunt Harriet, why do you say that? Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've had about enough of that out of you, sister. Chasing us up here with all that bunkum about cats as big as dogs and killings and all that? You better come along with us. No, no. Everything I said to you was true. True, and, and you just have to- Joe, take her other arm. No, no, let go of me. Aunt Harriet, don't let them take me away. The, those ho horrible cat things. I, I tell you, there were two of them here. Don't let them take me away. Don't mind her, old lady. We'll take care of her. <laughs> yes, yes, take good care of her, cracked little thing. Now come on, sister. <laughs> no, wait. Look at her teeth as she laughs. Look at her teeth. Mother in heaven. They're... they're cat's teeth. And her hands. They're... they're claws. No! No! Stay away from me! Grab her, Joe. Stop, you! No! I, no! She's clawing my eyes! You. Get her, Joe! She's getting away! <sighs> Joe? Dead. <laughs> Aunt Harriet. She's no aunt to anything human. I'll tell you, look at her. But... But... My... Aunt Harriet... Aunt Harriet Saugus? Saugus? Did you hear that, Sheriff? So you came here thinking she was Mrs. Saugus, did you, girl? Yes. Yes. Lona and I. A and Lona must be dead now. <laughs> How could... How could my aunt do what she did? 
How could she? This thing's no aunt to yours, child. Your Aunt Harriet Saugus died in this house three years ago. And she left... two cats. You have been listening to The Little Old Lady, featuring the vocal talents of Emily Schneider as Lona, Sherry Hawkins as Alice, Megan Knoll as Aunt Harriet, Kelly Hoagland as the Sheriff, Megan Kolasaiki as Deputy Joe, and Brant McCants as the Old Man. Thank you for listening, and as always, stay safe and be kind to one another. <laughs>